Jude and I'm Abby. Welcome to Kid Connection. Today is Friday, October 10th. On the day in 1911, the Panchama Canal opened. Today's weather is high of 61 degrees with rain and thunderstorms all day. Today for lunch is a hoey nuggets, baked beans, coleslaw, and strawberry and cream cup. Happy birthday to Brayden Eller, also having birthdays this weekend are Cameron Allen, Isaiah Waggett, Wedges, Justin Hall, Isaiah Hur, Elijah Hur, Jonah Brosett, and Thomas Rowland. The quote of the day is, all the Japanese proverbs fall seven times, get up eight. Today the Owensville Fire Department will be here to talk to us about fire safety. It comes time for the daily e-contest. Today's question is, what are the colors of the rainbow? Get your answer to Miss Hill. Daily winners will be announced at the Friday um, assembly on Friday. On Monday at 2:15, we will be we will have a Chinese troop entering U.S. Bowerbirds love to eat fruit. They also eat insects and worms. An adult bowerbird may grow up, up to 18 inches in height. Fruit farmers are not fan of, fans of bowerbirds and work hard to chase them from their coops. Crops. Yesterday attendance was 93.93%. We can do better than that. Make sure you're here each day. Next Thursday, we will ha be having an awesome balloon. Next Thursday, we will be having an awesome palooza. What's that? I don't know, but it sounds like a celebration. I guess we'll, we will just have to wait and see. Stay tuned. An important message from Miss Kissing, and have a great day. All right, good afternoon, OES. Today, um, we've got several things we want to discuss. October is a month full of different awarenesses and things that we're going to be celebrating and special events that we need to bring recognition to. So, the first thing I want to talk to you about is um, today, we are going to be experiencing uh, the fire department coming and you'll get to see the fire trucks and they'll also be doing activities in the upper grades in the classrooms and we need to make sure that we really take time to to think about the things and the information that they're giving you as far as fire plans for at home and ways to prevent fires um, because these things are the things then the tools that we can take homes to our families that will keep us safe and so I'm also going to be adding to my bulletin board this little small poster with fire, um, a little Sparky the fire dog and it just says we don't want to ever play with matches or the little new wand things that we have available now we don't hide we need to go outside if there's ever a fire in your home you don't become afraid and hide you need to get out as quickly as possible if you smell smoke or you think there's a fire you need to fall to the ground and crawl out of the space because the smoke can take over and cause it cause you to not be able to breathe if you're ever on fire yourself you always want to stop drop and roll we also need to make sure we talk to our families about having a fire escape plan and somewhere that you and your family are going to meet outside so that you know that everyone is outside after your whole family evacuates, you need to call 911 so that you can get help to put out the fire. So take note of this. This will be on my bulletin board and really um, show our firefighters how much we appreciate them when they're visiting with us today. They are all volunteers. That means they don't get paid for the service that they give our community and we need to appreciate the time that they give us. Monday, we will be in school on Monday, but Monday is a holiday. And Monday is Columbus Day. So on October the 12th, 1492, Christopher Columbus, sailing under the flags of Spain, knelt in Thanksgiving on the beaches of an island in the Bahamas that he named San Salvador. His goal had been to find a shorter sea route to the Indies. He did not realize that he had landed near a continent that was unknown to Europeans. That continent was North America. 
He later made three other voyages to nearby islands. He and his men encountered native people who exchanged ideas and products with them. Columbus was an excellent seaman who had great courage and his voyages led him to a lasting contact between Europe and America. This month, our word of the month is creativity. Christopher Columbus showed great creativity in trying to come up with a new route to the Indies. He didn't settle for this is the way we always do it. He thought outside the box and tried to come up with new plans and new ideas. And that's what we need to do each day here at school. Sometimes we get in the habit of doing things a certain way and that doesn't mean that one way we've always been doing it is the right way. Sometimes we need to think of new and creative ways to do things. And being creative opens your mind to all kinds of new experiences. So never get settled into just doing things one way. Always look for some kind of new, better way to do things. Next Thursday, we have a celebration planned here at school. And we are celebrating as an entire school because of our test scores. Last May, we took the K-PREP test. The third, fourth, and fifth grade students of OES did. And we now have those scores back, and we now know what an awesome job our school did. And we want to celebrate that. So next Thursday is going to be called You Stashed the Test. So, I know everyone's seen all the little mustache things that everyone's been wearing and the fun that they're having with them. So on Thursday, we will have little fake mustaches available that people can use. If you have some at home that you want to make, that's fine too. But we want everybody to dress in whatever they choose to, to dress their stash. Whether it be hats, glasses, ties, dressing in your very finest best, whatever you choose to wear to dress your stash. Um, also, on the bulletin board out in the hallway next week, I will have the pictures of this year's 4th and 5th grade students as classrooms. Because our 4th and 5th grade students that we have right now are the scores that we have. Our fifth graders went on to the middle school, but those are still the students who help us reach that success. But we're going to recognize all those students with their pictures on my bulletin board next week. But next Thursday, it's really, really important that everyone be here because we're going to have a celebration day. And if you're not here, you're going to miss out because Friday's fall break, but Friday is the first day of fall break. Everyone needs to be here Thursday to get to enjoy the celebration. So this weekend, be talking to your family, come up with whatever you want to wear to dress your stash for next Thursday. That's all I have for you today, and I hope everyone has an awesome weekend, and we'll see everyone back on Monday on Columbus Day.